Welcome to our lesson about working with universal joints. In this lesson, we're going to create the base as well as a yoke and then mate them together. Let's begin with a new sketch. Right click on the front plane, insert sketch. Activate the line tool. Right click and select to close the tool. Now activate the center line command. And right click and select to close the tool. Let's apply dimensions now. 70 millimeters here. Accept. 20 millimeters here. Accept. And this angle is going to be 120 degrees. This line, 45 millimeters. Accept. Right click and select. Now let's select this line and add an equal relation. Okay, let's stop and talk about what I've done here. This point here is the joint point. 45 millimeters is the distance between the joint point and the shafts. Okay, we're ready to exit the sketch. And let's activate the extruded boss base command. The thickness will be 5 millimeters. End condition, it'll be a mid plane extrusion. And let's accept. Right click, make sketch 1 visible. Let's insert a second sketch here. Activate the circle tool. Place our circle about here. Dimensions. Diameter of 14 millimeters. Accept. Exit the sketch. Activate the extruded cut command. Let's accept default values. OK. And let's right click and insert another sketch. Circle. Right click and select. Let's add a coincident relation between this point and the center point of our circle. And let's apply dimensions. 14 millimeter diameter. OK. Exit the sketch. Cut extrude. OK. Now let's save this part. We're going to call it part A. Save. Next we're going to create the yoke and then we'll pull both parts into an assembly. New part document. OK. Let's insert a sketch on the front plane. Activate the line tool. And we'll just drop in the lines for our yoke sketch. Let's add an equal relation. And let's apply dimensions now. 30 millimeters. OK. 35 millimeters here. Right click and select. Let's shift select the origin point and this line. And add a midpoint relation. OK. Let's exit the sketch. Extrude. Thickness 5 millimeters. Midplane extrusion. 20 millimeters depth. Accept. Right click and insert a sketch. Activate the line tool. Now it arc. Exit the sketch. Extrude. Reverse direction. And the depth, 5 millimeters. Accept. Let's use the mirror tool now. I'm going to mirror boss extrude 1 on the other side. Let's select the right plane. And accept. Lastly here, we need to create a pinhole. We'll use a circle. Dimensions, 5 millimeter diameter. OK. Exit the sketch. Cut extrude. End condition through all. And let's accept. Another sketch, right click, insert sketch. Then activate the circle tool. Place it about here. Let's give it dimensions, 14 millimeter diameter. OK. And exit the sketch. Extruded boss base. Reverse the direction, 25 millimeter depth. OK. Now let's save the yoke. We'll call it part B. And save. We're ready to create an assembly now. New assembly document, OK. 
OK, open documents. Let's select Part A and click OK. This matches up the assembly origin and the part origin. Now insert components, select Part B. And let's drop in two yokes, one here and one here. Let's apply mates now. Activate the mate tool. Select this face and this face. Concentric mate is pre-selected. Let's make temporary axes visible. I'm going to select this axis and this face. Distance, offset 45 millimeters. Let's mate the second yoke, this face and this face. Reverse the direction and OK. Now let's select this axis. Right click, select other, and select this face. Distance mate, 45 millimeters. Tab to register and accept. Let's rotate the yoke into the correct position. Scroll down to mechanical mates, expand. And let's click on universal joint. Here I'll select two axes. And if needed, I can define the joint point. That's right here. Accept and cancel. Now I'm testing it out here. I see that something doesn't work. Let's edit the mate. As you see, I selected the axis for part A. Let's delete that selection. Right click, delete. And let's select the correct axis. And now we have the correct axis selected. OK, cancel out. Let's test our joint. Lastly, let's change the angle right here, part A. Right click, edit the sketch. Let's make this angle 135 instead of 120. OK, exit the sketch. Let's return to our assembly. Update, yes. And let's test our joint again. This concludes our lesson about using a universal joint.